Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Pranay, host and Click Digest, and what we have here is the Lenovo Vibe P1M. The P1M is a budget series smartphone from Lenovo, which comes with a massive battery. This is a 4G dual SIM smartphone, which comes with a 4000 milliamp battery. The P1, which is the more expensive version of uh, the P series, is priced almost twice this one and comes with an even larger battery. And in this video, we are going to quickly unbox this and show you what all you get in the box and give you a quick overview of the phone with audio, video playback quality, camera quality, benchmarks and everything that you need to know before you make a purchase decision. Let's get started with this one. Diving into the box content, first thing in the box is the phone itself and it also comes with a back cover which is a, a soft back cover which comes pre-installed. This has Lenovo branding. It's not very hard, it comes with this soft uh, in our finish which protects the back of the phone other than this uh, in the box you get a screen protector which has been bundled and going further in the box you get a quick charger uh, Lenovo provides quick charging at this price point with a 5.2 volt 2 ampere uh, charger which they claim should charge this phone very quickly there is a standard data cable and a pair of earphones which is a welcome step because we have seen that the A6000, 6000 plus 7000 did not come with the earphones bundled. This one comes with the set of earphones which are bundled which comes with inline microphone but the quality is not very high and we do not expect a very high quality at 8000 rupees price point. This is all in the box. Let me get back to the phone and get rid of everything else here. This is the Lenovo Vibe. P1M which is a 5 inch display phone. It comes with a 720p high definition display. It comes with a, a 4000 milliamp battery, a nanotechnology coating for uh, splash resistant and one a key or quick key power saving which is on this side. If you notice the standard power or wake up key is on this side followed by the volume rocker on top. On the other side you get a power saving uh, mode key which turns the phone into an ultra power saving kind of mode which delimits the functions of the uh, phones and puts it in a uh, sort of a feature phone scenario where you can only make calls, use alarms and uh, SMS and nothing else it becomes a black and white phone. Looking around the phone you get this metallic finish which is nothing but a high quality plastic but not a real metal. This is a 720p high definition front panel which comes with three touch capacitive keys below it, a 5 megapixel front facing camera, earpiece, some sensors on top. On the rear you get an 8 megapixel camera which comes with LED flash, autofocus, secondary mic hole for noise cancellation, wipe branding, Lenovo branding. On bottom you get two grills, one of which is a speaker grill. The back cover is openable and gives you access to the SIM card slots and the memory card slot. And here you have two SIM card slots, both of which are micro SIM card slot. The battery is not user removable and it gives you warning do not remove the battery. It's a 3900 milliamp battery which is typical capacity of 4000 milliamp. So that is uh, something probably not very highly accurately 4000 milliamp but approximately 4000 milliamp. So you can expect uh, approx two days of uh, usage on a full charge. Let me quickly set this up and get back with more detail on this phone. And we are back after setting up the phone and I'll talk about some more details now. First thing, display. This is a 5 inch 720p panel and it's a very impressive display for the price point. At 8000 rupees you get a beautiful looking display with sharp colors, good and rich contrast and good overall viewing experience. You can see this video sample playing on your screen for the sample. Not only the display is rich, the audio quality is also fairly loud and the bottom firing speakers are fairly good and loud. They are well audible and do not create any sort of distortion. Talking of cameras, there is an 8 megapixel rear shooter which does produce good quality pictures. But the detailing is not as high because of the resolution constraints. The quality of pictures that we have taken in normal as well as HDR mode come out to be good. The HDR shots do their magic by filling the lights in the portions where there are shadows. The rear camera is capable of recording 720p high definition videos. The interface of the camera is simple. 
The front-facing 5 megapixel shooter is also doing good job when it comes to taking selfies. The pictures taken even against the light come out to be nice and you can touch to expose or focus even while taking selfies. Talking about benchmark specs and performance, it is part with a 1 GHz quad-core MediaTek chipset. On Antutu, it scores around 20,000 range and it gets 2 gigs of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory out of which around 10 GB is user available. Good thing is that it does support USB OTG, also supports selecting SD card as default write disk so you can install application directly on the SD card. But when it comes to gaming performance, do not expect too much out of this phone because it is part with a meager 1GHz MediaTek quad core CPU which is not very heavy duty for gaming. Although this phone does handle moderate level games like Service Surfer with ease and with good graphics without any stutters, but I would not recommend this for playing very heavy games. The internet browsing experience has also been smooth and rich. When it comes to software, it runs Android Lollipop 5.1 out of the box. It gets a USB OTG support, ability to move applications to SD card and comes with quite a lot of applications. So there is plenty of blotware which comes pre-installed on this phone. But the feature that we love the most is this dedicated key for power saving, which turns it into a feature phone which is black and white and restricts the functionality and goes with the battery life in days and days. Which brings us to the next point which is battery which is one of the USPs of this phone. With 3900 to 4000 mAh of battery capacity, this phone should easily last you 2 days on normal usage. Even if you are a heavy user, you would probably still have more than one full day of usage on this phone easily with large battery, small display and not so powerful processor. And last but not the least, value for money. Is this phone worth putting your 8000 rupees on? In my opinion, yes if you are looking for a phone with large battery life, good display quality and good audio quality. But no if you are looking for a gaming or performance oriented phone. This one is not meant for gaming. For all other purposes, it is a good phone. It is not meant for heavy intensive performance. But if you are someone who is looking for a decent looking phone, good display quality, good camera quality, long battery life, this is an awesome phone to pick up at 8000 rupees. If you want to buy one for yourself, I am leaving direct links in the description section below where you can buy one for the best price. This is all we have on this video. If you enjoyed watching it, give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host with Purana signing off. Thanks for watching.